So we're gonna flip over to the implementation. I'm gonna use uh, just by clicking up here, going to viewcontroller.m, and once you've got that, you'll see that uh, we've got some irregular code, and this is basically I've pre-populated this for you guys, and this is the URL that's loading into our web view. So now the next thing that we have to do is we have two methods, and as I talked about, we have to have the UI web view talk to our activity indicator and tell it, hey, I'm loading. You you go ahead and animate. And so we're going to do that by declaring our void, and then we're going to type web view, and you'll see that we get a few different options here um, for methods that we can call. And so, as you see, basically these are self-explanatory. It says web view did start loading. All right, so we're going to click that because that's the first thing we want to say. Hey, we're loading or we're starting to load. Go ahead and do something. All right, so go ahead and double click that, and what we're going to tell it to do is we're going to tell the activity indicator. All right, so activity, and my apologies, underscore activity indicator, and we're going to tell it to start animating. All right, so in doing so, when the web view did start loading or when it has started loading, we want the activity indicator to start animating. So it's going to start spinning. All right, so we could run it right now, and you'll see that basically it just spins and spins and spins and spins because it doesn't have anything to tell it to sh to stop at this point. So that's good. We got it. We got it starting to spin. Now we have to call another method to tell it to stop. All right. So basically, we're going to say void, and then we're going to start typing web again. And you'll see that we have web view did finish load. All right. So now our web view is going to pass another command to our uh, activity indicator. In this case, basically our, our activity indicator, we're going to tell it to stop animating at this point. All right, and once you've got that, basically, when our web view loads, we're going to start animating. When it's finished loading, we want the activity indicator to stop animating. Okay, so now once you have both those methods in place, we have to go back to our storyboard because basically we've told the activity indicator what it's supposed to do code-wise, but we haven't actually hooked up the delegate from our UI web view. So go ahead and hold control and click anywhere on the web view and we're going to take that and we're going to hook it up to our main view controller here and you'll see that we get prompted with one option so that's basically saying that hey it's alright if we delegate from our web view and tell other things what to do or what we're doing alright so we're going to go ahead and hook up that delegate and now we can go ahead and run the application so we're going to make sure we're in the iPhone 6.0 simulator and after doing that go ahead and click run all right, and for a split second, it should, okay, we saw it animating and then the page load and basically we're done there. All right, you see, but we still have this, basically this activity indicator sitting here, which shouldn't be right because we saw it spun once it started loading there and then uh, it stopped. So it works correctly, but now we have to basically hide it so it doesn't show up once it's been loaded. All right, so there's two ways we can do this. And the first way I actually already kind of pointed out is basically when you go into your storyboard you click and select your activity indicator and over in your attributes over here if you select this hides when stopped that's gonna make it hidden after it stops because we've already told it in our code here that we want to stop animating once the web view did load alright so we're gonna go ahead and run that and uh, you'll see it loaded stopped and gone alright so now you can play your game you're good to go but I'm also going to show you the other way that you can do it. it is you can actually go over here to the web view did finish load and basically we can set the activities property for hidden uh, equal to true and that'll take care of basically after it's finished we're going to go into the hidden state all right for the activity indicator all right so that's a quick tip on how to do the activity indicators within your applications especially for the web view because you know web apps that you could definitely got to relate to the user and show them how and why you know it's loading and stuff like that so hit up that game if you guys hit it up and uh, complete it you'll get a message basically saying you've won shoot me a screenshot of that and we'll send you something all right we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial